today's video I'm going to be showing you a nice little edge blitz you can get from kind of a forgotten for about formation in Madden 21 and that's the dime normal. What's up guys my name is Cody and I'm going to welcome you to my YouTube channel if you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before. My channel is designed to just kind of help teach you a little bit more about Madden, help you give you some um, tactical and practical tips and tricks that you can use uh, that can really help you get better at this game. So uh, today we're showing you a little bit of a blitz setup out of the dime normal but if you guys want to stay up to date with my channel all you got to do is click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and we'll have some other things for you uh, as we jump in into this including a way that you can get exclusive pro tips uh, once a week for free all right guys so dime normal is from the four six playbook and the play that we're going to be working out of is the play um mike dime blitz it doesn't have to be this play um you can do it out of any play uh in my opinion the the best way to blitz in my in this year's scheme in my opinion is just pure overloading of a side of an edge and then dropping on the opposite edge so we're going to show you that out of mike dime blitz and really, it's all about where you stand with users. So all we're going to do is we're going to pinch the defense. You see it's going to bring the middle linebacker into the A gap here, just like so. And then the, all we're going to do is we're going to zone out that left of screen defensive end. And then we're just going to bring our user right in here. And we're just trying to kind of come down a few steps and then jump into coverage. And as you'll see here, you'll get edge pressure from your corner. And with this specific um, with this specific uh, blitz, when you're trying to get it off of one side or the other, just crash your line to the side you're trying to get it off of. So like right here, I'm going to crash my line to the right. Same step, I'm just going to kind of hover in this area right in here with the, my user. And you'll see the line, the corner is going to scream in off the edge on the right edge. Now, you can do this flipped as well. So, for example, if I wanted to flip the play, the cool part about Dime Normal is you can kind of flip the play in a little bit of disguise. It looks very, very similar to the other way. And we're literally just going to flip the entire setup, come stand right over in this area. Like I said, I typically like to be, you know, kind of in this area uh, with my user. And I'm just going to come down and around. And that time we got picked up. But you'll see the pressure will come in. Um, off the edges now what I would do with dime and because I think it gives a, a significant amount of disguise they think these guys are on man-to-man -man coverage um, within this play so if you can kind of allow them to think that you're gonna find that it's gonna actually help your pressure and it's gonna help the consistency of your blitzing because if they can if they feel like they're in man-to-man -man coverage they're not gonna they're gonna not block the running back they're not gonna do anything but if you drag him over like this right here this is a sign that they're going to blitz, and to be quite honest with you, the blitz doesn't work as good when you do that. As you see there, um, you might be able to get some A-gap with that, but the pressure doesn't really work as well as you would like it to. So, what I advocate doing is zoning out that left of screen guy. You can put him in a spy if you wanted to. Leave these guys as is, because that's how you would leave them as if they were in man-to-man -man coverage. I would shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top, just so it looks like you're doing that with these guys. In reality, it's the safeties in the back end and the snap of the ball. What you're going to see here is you're going to see a gap and edge pressure um, if you stand between that guard in the center. So you can kind of mess around with where you hover. Um, that's what I would do. But, you know, typically what's going to happen is you're going to get kind of dual pressures with this. Um, you're going to get that A gap sometimes. Most of the time you're either going to get right edge or right gap heat. Um, and, again, the same is true. It just flipped the play. So if I flip the play, you see here, same is true. Zone out that side now. And now we're sending pressure from the left side. And you see we're able to get the A gap pressure to come in. So this is kind of a... You know, in my opinion, a very, very simple pressure, but a very, very powerful one. Given the fact that the coverages out of dime are really, really good, um, and the fact that you can get some pretty decent a gap pressure uh, from this set, in my opinion, as well. So just something to be aware of. But overall, guys, the dime normal is actually really, really effective, in my opinion. It actually does okay. Uh, against the heavy running sets as well, uh, which is why I like it because they're nice and spread out. They're wide. You know, it might be a year to try, try this formation out for yourself. Um, you know, blitzing is not, um, you know, by far, you know, everyone would say blitzing is definitely not the way to go this year. Um, a lot of people think coverage defense because the pressure you get from coverage shells, um, not because there's not effective blitzes, just because of the fact that you get in on the quarterback fairly quick, especially since they changed the sheds and made the sheds more effective. Um, 
you know, that's that's going to be kind of the route that you might want to try going. But you can get the edge pressure you see off the edge. Now, if I uh, I did want to show one thing before we take off. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk about our texting membership. So the texting membership is something I started just very, very recently, actually. But it was kind of designed as a way to get um, give you guys an opportunity for those of you that wanted to to go into a little bit more intense detail about the game of Madden. So if you're looking for pro tips, if you're looking to take your game to the top of the level, um, I would recommend signing up for the texting membership. All you have to do to sign up is just shoot me a text and let me know you want to be in on it. My number is 812-216-3644, and that's the best way that you can do it, honestly. And, you know, guys, we're literally, uh, every single week you'll receive a tip. It's going to be um, a little bit more in-depth, a little bit more you know, showing you the counters of things and sh kind of updating you really on what's going on uh, in the game. So if you're looking, if you're interested in, in picking that up, I just want to encourage you. I'd be happy to give that to you. All you got to do is just shoot me a text. Let me know you want to be a part of it. But the other thing that you can do with this, um, and I did want to share this with you, is if you bring them in the slot like this right here, then what you can do, you'll see the pressure is not as consistent, but sometimes it gets in a little bit faster. Um, if you if you kind of hover in here, but you know I would recommend just leaving them spread. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. That's the dime uh, normal. If you guys want to join the Discord, I'd love to have you jump into the Discord. Uh, Discord is a great opportunity to just be able to connect, be able to get better at this game. And uh, because again, you're the average of the five people that you associate with most. And so if you come into the Discord, you meet people, you get better. That to me is one of the best things you can do. Um, but I also have my full 4-6 defensive ebook as well as my uh, Arizona offensive ebook. And I bundled them together for you in the Madden 21 competitive guide. You can pick that ebook up in the description if you want more pressures like this one. Or if you want um, more offensive minded tips, I have a ton of it. Over a, that that ebook is over a hundred pages long, so uh, and with several several hours of content. So just wanted to share that with you guys. But thank you so much for your time. I really really appreciate it. I hope you learned something today. I hope that this blitz um, will serve you well. Uh, sometimes Praxmo is a little finicky with the consistencies of it because you run it over and over again, but. Uh, in game you'll find this blitz really does work well especially in the right situation you know what I would do is come out and run a lot of man-to-man -man coverage and then at the right time uh, spring this blitz on them and you'll get some pretty solid pressure so anyways guys thanks for watching and we'll see you we got a couple more videos coming today on our channel and we'll also be streaming tonight on YouTube so be sure to subscribe and uh, we'll also announce that in the discord so if you're not in discord be sure to get in there turn on your notifications so that you can get access to those streams Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.